what's going on what is going on y'all what is going on now y'all already know we got the daily routine week three thursday nights sunday nights and monday nights are mandatory i didn't do monday nights of last week because it was some serious injuries and y'all already know if you don't know and you're new to this channel i just don't do games with injuries that bad when it's something scary like that i just don't do it uh personal reasons and just to keep my channel safe nice and um you know um if you want to ask me a little bit deeper about why um just hit me up in the dms and i'll explain it again but i explain it sometimes uh but uh anyway let's just go ahead and get into this video we got week three. Oh my god, NFL is going by so fast already. And oh my god, we're on week four of college. God damn. Um well, let's get on that roll, y'all. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have the New York Giants against the San Francisco 49ers. Now, I I did these teams previous week. Uh apparently. 49ers are the favorites because Giants don't got nobody motherfucking starting. Giants Giants got all their third string out there. But um, that's fine with me. I love watching the 49ers play because they look so explosive and they look so nice. And it's nice to see Brock Purdy do his thing. Look at him. Look at him. Sack. That's how you get off to a good start, Giants. That's how you get off to a good start. That's how you get off to a good start. <clears throat> there you go. And then you fuck up like that. Here we go. You fuck up like that. Here we go. Go through your motions. Get up out of that big man. Come on, 58. You got to hold on to him right there. Okay, nothing. Not. Okay, we got to We got to get locked in now. We got to get locked in now. We got to get locked in now. First drive, 49ers end on a three, which is disappointing because you would love to see them get a touchdown. Here we go. So, 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 the, so, let's get this straight. Giants don't got nobody out there. Is that correct? Somebody confirm that for me in the comments. Giants have literally nobody out there. Apparently, the only starters out there. Is this Daniel Jones? Apparently, the only starters out there is Jones and, like, the left tackle or something like that. If I'm not mistaken, everybody else is just uh, no show. Um, whatever happened to the fucking rookie wide receiver? What what happened to him? They don't throw him a ball or some shit? What the hell going on there? Bosa, I'm going to keep it 100 with you, bro. You should have like 50 sacks this game. Good spin move, Bosa, but it didn't go nowhere. Work on yourself, man. It, it, this season, it, Bosa really got to test himself. And it... Like a lot because he got that big contract and many people are starting to see, okay, is Bosa going to be productive and consistent or he's just going to be bullshit because he got all that money. <clears throat> easy catch, easy throw too. Good shit. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Trey Williams. <laughs> see, for the people who've been here for the long time already and the new people, they already know my routine. If I already see this game going um, in a way that I think is boring, I'm paying attention to the line and the whole rest of the game. And, um, it's about that time. It is about that time. It is about that time. I'm telling you, it's about that time. Um, we're already one minute and 30-something seconds in. I'm, I'm, I'm focused on the linemen now because that's where we see the fight. All the rest of this shit is just lollygagging. Here we go. Here we go. I'm looking at, I'm looking at Williams now. Trey Williams, best left tackle in the uh, NFL currently. Um, this is who I'm looking at. I'm looking at this right here. Fuck everybody else. Fuck the rest of this game. I done got to that point now. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this fight. <clears throat> they double team it right here. Trey see him blitzing. IQ, a hey, right guard. You got to get this. I got a blitzer coming on my, my far left. I can't let Brock Purdy get hurt. He's too young. We need him. We need him productive. Let me let me let me let me, let me go handle business. Get him from that 27. Where you going? Where you going? Where you going? See, that's all I'm worrying about now. Look at this. And this is all I'm worried I'm talking about. That's the excitement. What I told you, Bosa. I told you I, you need 50 sacks. You need to let people know why you got that money. Let people know why you got that money. 
Um, Bosa, to be realistic, I expect like five sacks from Bosa today. Hit up, get up out of there. Get up out of there. Look at the blocking out there. Look at the beautiful blocking out there. I told you I done gave up on the rest of the um, the rest of the other stuff. I'm watching the lineman go to work. That's all. I'm, look at that pull. Look at that pull by number 74. They ain't gonna talk about that. They ain't gonna talk about that. Here we go. Here we go. Good pass blocking screen. Easy screen. Get up out of there. Get up out of there, Christian. Get up out of there, Christian. Come on, Christian. You know you wasn't gonna get through that. You should have just went out of bounds. Here we go. Look at the lineman. Look at the lineman. Pay attention to the lineman. Uh, get the inside man. Trey, Trey, that's what I'm talking about. Trey is so smart out there at left tackle. Like, 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 when you see blitzing like that as a lineman, you guys got to understand, get the guy that's going to get to the quarterback quicker, and that's usually the inside man. You see, Trey had two people lined up in front of him, knowing his right guy got to get a different assignment. So I'm going to get this inside guy, that uh, that guy to the left, the quarterback and the running back got to know that's a free man. Y'all either got to handle him or do whatever you want with him because I, I got to protect you as fast as I can. So I'm going to get this inside man. Look at this sack right here. 49ers D-line is just going to work. Boom, kick the door in. Ooh. Here we go. Get through that. 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 It's just. Hey, Christian Christian McCaffrey is in disrespect. Like people don't realize it, but he's disrespectful with that stiff arm. Y'all ain't see the stiff arm from last week. The stiff arm that he just just, just stuffed the guy in the ground. Even though the guy got the tackle, it's just disrespectful how he just um got the tackle. Um disrespectful towards him. Like if you get if you get a tackle, but the way you get the tackle makes it feel like you got disrespected for getting the tackle, that's a damn shame. And this is similar right here. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Christian McCaffrey, first of all, I'm gonna switch the ball to my left hand to prepare for you. I know y'all ain't peeped that, but Christian McCaffrey switched the ball to his left hand to get prepared for this. To get prepared, most of the people will switch the ball to the hand when they're closer to out of bounds. You understand me? Because it's safer. See, some of y'all don't know that. Y'all think I just be talking, but I be talking good shit. You know, most of the people don't switch the ball midfield around this time. Because if you get hit, it causes a fumble. Some people like to do it over here toward the sideline. So um, if if that were to happen, ball goes out of bounds more than likely. But here, Christian McCaffrey is so disrespectful. This is what I'm telling y'all. So disrespectful. So let's start this over. He switches the ball to his left hand, not even close to out of bounds, to get prepared to um, do whatever dirty work he about to do with him with this stiff arm. Boom. And I'm going to stiff arm you. Now watch how many yards he go with this stiff arm. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all gotta know shit like that. Oh, get up out of there. Get up out of there. Get up out of there. I'm telling you, man, that's all lineman work right there. That's all lineman work right there. I'm telling y'all. Good work. Good work. Here we go. Here we go. Get that. Get that. Get that. Get that. And that's touchdown, ladies and gentlemen. 49ers is gonna straight up blow out the Giants. This shit is easy right here, but this is a powerhouse offense that is entertaining to watch. Uh, 49ers is going to go a long way. I actually think they might be able to do it. Oh, good catch. Good catch. And that was a push-off, too. I don't know why the referee didn't call that. Get to the quarterback. No, no, no. Ain't no flag. Ain't no flag. Down the middle from the logo is where you should go. <clears throat> Ooh. 17-6, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, uh, 11 minutes to go in the third. 11 minutes to go in the third. Here we go. What we got here? All the time in the world right now, Daniel. Mm, back shoulder throw and it, they low key, low key, low key. Well, I'm, I need to stop seeing this fucking ref. I feel like every game I reacted to, I seen this ref. Did this nigga not sleep or some shit? Does he like not like take a break or some shit? Mm. Ooh. Lineman, good job of creating that hole for your um your running back. Oh my God, Giants are now on the board. Is this is, is this actually going to be a close game? What the hell is going on? Two point conversion. Let's see if you convert this. Usually, if it's a highlight, you do, but uh, didn't go nowhere. Good job, Bosa. Good job for that assisted tackle. Here we go. 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 
<clears throat> down the middle, wide open. And who is it to? Debo. Debo, oh my God, work on your open field tackle. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. And yeah, yeah, y'all see why I stress that a lot. Y'all see why I stress that a lot. Y'all see why I stress that a lot. Let's count it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's count it. Let's count it. One, two, three, four. Cool. About to be five. That's a damn shame. Oh my God. That a damn sure get a player hyped up. Next drive, Debo is him. Debo is him. But unfortunately, Brock Purdy can't get the ball out of his hand. Good job, D line. Good job. Apparently, um, I'm totally aware that Brandon Ayuk is not playing because due to like a uh, a shoulder injury or something like that, I got that notification on my ESPN app. It sucks that Brandon Ayuk is out with an injury. He's actually a good-ass wide receiver that doesn't get talked about a lot. Oh, my God, get the shit out of you in the backfield. Work on yourself, man. Work on your fucking self. Oh, my God. Kittle, Kittle trip. Kittle trip. Hey, 49ers fans, is it me or is Kittle not really productive as he seems like on the field? Like he gets talked about a lot, but every time I watch y'all game, it, it, it doesn't seem like Kittle is like productive like that. Is that true or is that just a false statement and I, I need to watch the live games? Like I, this is the first catch we I seen Kittle make. Um... Is that just cap, or does Kittle actually, like, catch the ball more than these highlights um, prove to be? Okay, second catch of the game. Boom. Okay, okay, okay. Now he's proving me wrong. Now he's proving me wrong. I spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. 20 to 12, ladies and gentlemen, of 15 minutes to go on this four. Good job getting in that backfield, um, Giants. Boom. Kittle got the ball again. Oh, my God. And just ate that hit. All right. I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. For a surprising game, I'm surprised the Giants are actually like two scores away. I expect this to be like a 30 to like fucking 12 blowout type game. But Giants are actually holding up. Oh my God, and look at that. Butterfingers, butterfingers. Just dragging you, just dragging you. Drag you for like 10 yards. Get the fuck off of me. That's what Debo just said. Okay, Kittle got the ball again. Ate that hit. And drag you for like three to four yards. That's a damn shame. Here we go. I'm finna eat this. This is this is easy. Easy work out here on the field, ladies and gentlemen. Easy work. Let's see effort. This is what you receivers need to be doing. Die for the damn ball. You act like if you don't die for the ball, you're going to get hurt. You got on full as equipment. This is the earth effort you like to see. Third and two, most receivers don't even want to do this. They'll literally just let that ball fly past them. Christian McCaffrey, knowing where he's at on the field, third and two and past the marker, I, we need this first down no matter the circumstances. We're up 23 to 12. We need to increase this lead because the Giants, we just cannot and simply cannot let them come back and beat us. So I'm going to make sure I catch this ball. I'm going to die for this shit, for this first down. Some of you receivers don't do that nowadays. Y'all give little effort on um capturing passes. Easy back shoulder throw for a touchdown. Ooh, band playing, girl screaming. Good throw, Brock Purdy. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my God, D boy is just too tough. D boy is just too tough. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Down the field, one on one. I'm finna blow past you. Back shoulder throw, uh, throw, and you cannot. You cannot. You simply just cannot. Jackson, work on yourself in the off season. Look at it. Knowing you guarded Debo, you playing off like this, scared, scary energy. A uh, million dollar NFL player cornerback, scared of that pressure. This is work. This is work right here that you got to adapt to. And by doing, you got to get better. You playing off on this so crazy. The fact you playing this much off shows how scared you is. And we finna punish you for it. Even though you was close to getting there, we, we don't care. It's Debo. Debo gonna go up and get it. <clears throat> Here we go. Thirty to twelve, ladies and gentlemen. Now nah, it's what I just saw earlier, and we finna get this nice interception. Good job, good job, good job. This game is wrapped. On the four minutes to go in the fourth, thirty to twelve. This game is officially a blowout. 
especially with that interception. Mm -mm -mm. Bad plan, girl screaming. Bad plan, girl screaming. Yeah, most definitely got to fight for that. Most definitely. Most definitely got to fight for that. And that's game, ladies and gentlemen. That is game. 49ers just look so nice and so tough. They just look so nice and so tough all around the board. Um, I don't actually see anybody stopping them for the meantime. They're the only team that actually looks really good. They're going up 3-0, and right? Ooh, man. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Um, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Um... I'm excited to watch them throughout the rest of the season. I'm excited. 49ers fans, y'all might have some excitement coming y'all way. They just got to keep being playing hard and being disciplined. Um, Other than that, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gone. Peace.